Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place Enter the Gungeon. Uh, you, I did play a little Gungeon. I think I said I was coming back as the Marine. I hope I said I was coming back as the Marine. We're gonna play as the Marine anyway. Um, but, uh, I did play a little Gungeon on the stream. And you didn't miss much. You didn't miss me doing anything. Like, I, I got my ass kicked. Uh, and it was for the NLSS, so if you want to watch that, you can. I'm gonna go into the tutorial here, because people on the stream were like, if you don't do the tutorial, then you're missing out on some items being in the game. So we might as well unlock this. Really, the only thing I got were hegemony credits. Wayward soul. Forget how to dodge roll. Nah, I'm good. Well, then take the stairs up to the breach. Hold up. Need a refresher. Yes. Yes. All right, welcome to the halls of knowledge, etc., etc. I don't know if I need to redo the tutorial, but maybe we will. Flip tables, sure. Flip tables, get angry. Let me out! Flip barrels? Okay, we need to flip three things. Get into the next room here. We gotta dodge the laser. They won't let me do it. Okay, da 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 Yo, ready. Let's do this. Easiest game of my life. Yo, I have defeated the second boss a couple of times. Let's not act like I don't know what I'm doing here. I know exactly what I'm doing. Dodge roll to jump over that pit. It's not even an issue. This is like, everything is automatic for the people here, like the REM album. Now the real reason people said to do this is because there's a secret room. Sometimes the number of bullets can get overwhelming. There is a way to clear the path, pick up some blanks. They will also push nearby enemies away. Yes, no, I'm aware of how to use blanks. Do this, and then come in here. And then what's going on in here? You got like a secret room access for me? Blanks refill every floor. They can also be found throughout the gungeon. Onwards. This is the secret room. Surely. A gun refitting your stature and experience. Go on and open it as a pea shooter. That's insulting. They're gonna force me to actually kill some of these basic enemies. I don't know why this dude's laughing about it, as if, like, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this bullet here. This is not gonna happen. You will be killed. Okay, we got a few rooms to go for ourselves here. I don't know, the pea shooter might not even be better than the actual marine starting weapon, but that's okay. We can use it because it's got a little flavor. I know vanilla is the finest of the flavors, and you see the show, then you know the vertigo is gonna go because it's so dangerous, you have to sign a waiver. Can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. I'm trying hard not to smile when I feel bad. Excuse me? Shotgun enemies in the tutorial? What is this? Yawn. You made it. You know how to dodge roll shoot and use blanks, but there's more to learn. This med kit, for example, will replenish your health. Okay, fantastic. Where's my secret room, dog? I was told that you would give me access to a secret room. Yes, there's the teleporter. Got it. Thank God for Gungeon not punishing you for mashing E. Because I would really dislike um, having to redo all of this shit. Because I hit, yes, please show me your tutorial bullshit again. Not that it's bullshit. I mean, it's actually... Learning is important and it's a lifelong process. I'm not trying to suggest that it isn't. This refresher course, though, is a little... Come on! I mean, we're... This isn't my first Rodeo Drive here. I mean, what am I, Dan Giesling? Guess we should just teleport back. Um, we'll go to the right here. I, they said you unlock new guns and an event in the gungeon if you do this, so I should do this. Oh, there's a little Dan Giesling uh, SMG dude right there. There we go. This could be another item. I can't recall. It looks like a small room, so I'd suggest it's possible. This is the first time I've ever had the AK-47 in the game. I'm hoping that uh, it's as good as it is in other games where... Like in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, this is a go-to weapon. Yo, I did not find the secret room, hilariously enough. Speak with me when you're ready for your final challenge. Are you ready to put all you've learned to the test? Alright. This guy stands no chance. Who would have thought the tutorial boss would ah, be easier than the other bosses in the game? I mean, for me, that doesn't make any sense. Take it back to Ninja Gaiden. It took me like eight hours to beat the tutorial boss. I'm joking. Of course it makes sense. You bested me. So long have I ruled these halls. I want to be undone by the likes of you. The reign of Sir Manuel, Master of the Gungeon, and it's unceremoniously. You've done it. You beat the entire game. Leave me here to die again. Sob. Sob. Come on. <laughs> okay, I guess you can't murder him like that. Thought maybe that might find a secret. I don't know. It doesn't matter. 
There we go, we did the tutorial. Are you happy, you savages? Let's go to our uh, shop here. We got 10 hegemony credits. Don't you guys talk to me, okay. Let's buy, that's eight, that's five, six, six, eight. Well, let's buy something that costs eight. And then we'll actually begin our run here. As the Marine, oh, what do you got? This guy's got some freaking jars over here and I just totally whiffed it to go down. Well, we'll try to make sure to check that next time. All right. Let's do this. Now, in my Gungeon games, on the stream, I didn't do so well, but on one of them I did make it to the third level. So, all I'm trying to tell you is basically you didn't miss much at all. I did get introduced to a new gun or two that I'll be happy to show off, but uh, hopefully that NLSS actually makes it onto YouTube. Honestly, the reason it hasn't made it onto YouTube lately is not laziness. It's, um... The opposite of laziness. It's hard work. No, quite the opposite, but... Um, Twitch is just not exporting the YouTube properly, which might mean, and my suspicion right now is that YouTube is not handling those exports properly uh, due to YouTube maybe doing some maintenance changes or something like that, but um, it's really, really annoying. I have like eight emails from each NLSS that are like, your Twitch export to YouTube failed, sorry. It's getting a little silly. Hopefully they will be saved from their uploading prison. But that's all inside baseball stuff that you need not care about. Again, I feel like the, the number one things for, thing for us in Gungeon right now is just getting better. Like, it, it's really nice that other people have access to the game now, so there's a little bit of a democratization of that knowledge, to put it in, like, the most heady kind of terms I possibly can. Um, but the fact that now you at home can actually play the game and be like, hey, this room is actually this, this room is actually this, is helpful. And I really appreciate that. Um, I, I'm not a super stickler about spoilers or anything like that. I mean, in the end, it's not like a movie or a game, or a movie or a book, I should say, where, you know, you can spoil it. You can actually know everything about a game and still be shitty at it. So, although I'm trying to maintain uh, many of those surprises for myself, um, some things... Oh, that was so dumb of me. I found a secret room, though. I think. Some things I would never find for myself, I really appreciate. A secret room is over here. Lucky us. It has armor, and it has a uh, heart that we can't use. Now, rats will not eat hearts. They will eat, um, they will eat bullets. But basically, that secret room made up for the, uh, for the hit that I took. And we got to save a blank to also find the secret room. Although, I believe secret rooms can give you two items, so there may be some secret rooms in the future that are, like, really, really, really highly incentivized. Okay, two full clips was enough to finish the job there. Thank God. Credit-wise, we're doing pretty well. Look, those barrels. That totally worked. That was beautiful. Who dares wins? I'm starting to... I, I realize I said this before, but I'm starting to feel like I'm not that bad at Gungeon. At least on these first couple floors. Because I no longer freak out when enemies uh, spawn more enemies. Or when rooms spawn more enemies. Which I think is a good sign. We're going to come up here first. We got a bolt action rifle. Uh, I don't know if it's good, but we might as well check it out. I would like to fight the boss, but I'd really, again, I feel like it's best to fight the boss if you have uh, something that can help you out there. Like a, anything that gives you temporary invincibility or something, for example, or just a really, really good gun. Uh, there's no guns for sale in here. There's also no seller. Oh, there is! There's a dude we can sell guns to. But now that I think about it, we don't really want to sell anything. Hello. Something for the collection? I will compensate you. I mean, I don't really want to sell anything here. I think I'm just gonna buy, like, a key. I don't want to sell anything because the only other gun I have is this M1. Uh, which actually seems pretty decent. Like a, a crossbow, but it also does not need to be reloaded as regularly. I mean, two hitting these guys is actually pretty big, considering it, it doesn't have a horrible rate of fire. That was a little dangerous. That was fine, though. 88 bullets still. I mean, this seems like a pretty good room clearer. As long as we don't, uh... As long as we don't mess it up too much. Now, we do have three keys. Now, three keys could be amazing. Could Oh, God! It could be Elevator Man. These fucking mimics, man. I really, really need to get in... What is that? 
Pink Guanstone, increased health. Is that all it is, or does it also give you an effect on, on hits? Angry Bullet's now in there. Health increased. Okay, well, that's, I mean, it's really good. I, I can't complain in the least. Um, we have 4 HP now. If we can Flawless, though, we're going to be in an awesome situation. We're going to have 5 HP. I keep reloading after one shot. It's a bad habit. Um, another bad habit, which is what I was going to mention earlier, is I really have no excuse to not uh, shoot chests once. More ammo. Might as well take it. It will get consumed by the rat. Uh... We've been everywhere, man. We've been everywhere, man. Okay, let's do this. I'm prepared. This might be a good time for Elevator Man. He might be the true winner out of all this. Honestly, that's pretty decent damage for one clip. Oh, it is also like a Guppy's Hairball-esque orbital here. This guy's gonna rush us down if we don't kill him, so. Or maybe if we never aggroed him, he wouldn't rush us down, but I'd rather have control over the situation. I think it's a totally acceptable time to use a blank. Run faster. Run faster. Run faster. Jump higher. Man, not gonna be part of your system. Gonna throw him on the ground. You must think I'm a joke. Okay, this is great. This is great. Every time, get hit right at the fucking end. But not this time. That's gonna be a flawless to take us to 5 HP. We still got decent ammo left in this too. And a gun that is a skull? I kinda like that. Skull Spitter, hard-headed. I don't think we're selling anything to shop, man. Look at that, look at that beauty right there. Look at that. We've been to all of our chests, let's head downwards. Technically right now, we have like five and a half to six HP. This is beautiful. Probably the most stacked we've ever been uh, at this point. Keep in mind we also have an ammo drop, so that's why I'm gonna be using our, our bolt action revolver here as regularly as, as it feels appropriate. It's one-shotting almost everything. At least it's one-shotting enemies that are historically really annoying to deal with. I assume we're gonna run out of ammo. If we have to buy more, we have to buy more, you know? Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we have fiscal capital so we can actually purchase more ammunition because you never know when you're gonna go. 36 ammo. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Fuck this dude. We still got him. These shots are coming in, be careful. That was like four shots. That's really, really good. Okay. Two shot these guys. I guess it's not piercing, but still. 25 shots. That's all right. I mean, we can still go back to our other weapon, or we can go back to our, uh, or we can go to our skull spitter, I should say. But first, we should probably use the ammo drop, because if, if not now, then when, right? Machine pistol is pretty good. Do you, oh, he doesn't even have ammo for sale, so we definitely have to use the ammo drop. Just wait for, like, two more hits should do it. We totally got him already. Just fear these guys. We're already done. This is going so well! Is it worth using the ammo drop for this? Oh, we found a secret room, too. I guess what I should be saying is it... Is, is it worth risking our life to not use the ammo drop? Like, is, is it worth risking the fact that we may never get a valuable ammo drop out of it if we don't use it now? Like, I feel like we should probably just try to get some value out of our spacebar item. Instead of sweating, you know, are we doing it exactly the right way? This, this run is showing a market improvement right now. Not a market... market improvement? A market improvement. I'm, oh, we found a secret room, right, go back, go back. I'm selfishly hoping that maybe we just get some more ammo. Also, that would be good if we could just get some more ammo. We used a blank, where did it, where did it make the secret room? Was it this one? It uh, totally was this one. You know what, there's no way after finding a secret room, I could not use a chest. There we go, we shot it three times. 
Flame Hand. 2d6 plus int modifier. I'm assuming it's just like a fire flamethrower spitter. Sets enemies of flame. Okay. M1 has three bullets. I'd like to use these three bullets. That was enough to get the job done. We also got a cell key out of it. Lovely. Uh, and you know what? Call this in. Basically, I'm kind of operating under the principle right now that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And our run definitely ain't broke right now. But we should probably avoid using our good gun for bad enemies. Bullet saved might be a bullet earned here. We have another key as well, so let's shoot this a couple times. What is that? That's a Mega Man gun! This guy wants me to buy some stuff from him. Potion of Lead Skin, Poison Vial, Gungeon Ants. I think we're gonna buy Potion of Lead Skin. We could really use an active item. I have heard people tell me that this gun is dope. Yes. You freed me! Why? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, that seems bad. <laughs> Have I seen the face of my usurper? I don't know. Um, I'm, we're rolling in guns right now. I think it's safe to say that Elevator Man is not going to get his, uh, his just desserts on this one. Oh, there's our boss already. As cocky as I am about how this is going right now, let's not tempt fate too much. Let's, uh, let's keep the dream alive here. I want to see Mega Man Gun in action. Well, we'll have to wait till next room for that. Thank God we came up here for basically no reason. We have so many new guns to try, but I'm kind of holding out for the boss. I should check Potion of Lead Skin as well. It's invincibility, right? Temporarily, temporary invulnerability. Now we need something that uses like a blank every time we use an, uh, our active item. Yo, P-Gun seems incredible. Killing the red uh, shells in one single hit is ridiculous. Like, killing the super meat cubes in one single cube is ridiculous as well. Not one single cube, you know what I mean. Uh, it's gonna get eaten if we don't do this, so I figured we might as well. And it only uses one ammo when you got it charged up anyway. Why would we not use this on the regular? Another key... This is gonna be like one last item room up here, I think. Flaming bullets? Hot bullets? Hot lead, chance to ignite. Well, that seems pretty self-explanatory. You got anything for me in here? The altar is empty, do nothing. Okay, well, we didn't really see anything in our shop that was worth it, so... We can come back here. I guess the flamethrower is probably not that useful. Oh my god, it's kind of piercing as well. If we can flawless this, it would literally be the most HP we've ever had. No! That was very dumb of me. Can't shoot. Can't shoot. Can't shoot. That was that was extremely silly of me. Well, we're gonna have to roll through the poison at some point. Might as well be now. That mm, did not miss. That also did not miss. To be honest with you, it probably does not matter if we get hit again. Because I imagine that um, whether or not we get hit, we're going to get HP back anyway. I still can't believe I didn't quite flawless this. But you gotta admit, it's progress. The fight is taking a little longer, I think, as a result of this, but... I would not... Oh, that was bad. I would not consider this a bad thing, necessarily, though. Because we only used, like, 30 ammo there, and it went really, really well. I am standing in the poison. Please don't do that. Okay, so we did get half a heart back, at least. We got a shot bow, which is a shotgun that is also a crossbow. And we're going to be heading down to the next floor. With full HP, level 3 is just a clusterfuck. Oh, you guys can you can hear me yelling at uh, Enter the Gungeon in chat? Hi, Kate's chat! She 
might have a door open. That's okay. You get a little. Well, I mean, you won't be hearing me saying this. Probably you can get a little preview of the run if you're over on Kate Stream on Wednesday night. She's streaming right now. People can hear it. Dude, this Mega Buster is actually like disgustingly good. The fact that it can one-shot big enemies and also be, you know, kind of polymorphic, if you know what I mean. Like, it can, um, it can shoot less if you wanted to shoot less. Step right up, son. Step right up. That's some good shit right here. Break the targets, win a prize. I'm game. All right, so we have to shoot these, uh, these heads. The gun ricochets, so we gotta be careful. It also shoots really slowly. There we go, we got one. How the heck are we gonna get two? Here's what I'm thinking, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, we got two! I don't know if it's just gonna break these things if we if we do it, so let's try. Okay, get ready. We still have one bullet left. Wanna do it like, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do it like right now. <gasps> oh, I got three! Hey, not bad! Take this! He gave me a good chest. That gave me a cannon? Dun, 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 Wow, okay, that seems really good. And I never want to use it again. You know what? I'm not sad that I got hit there. This chest, I don't know what we're going to do about that. We're going to need a key. I honestly think we handled that room pretty well, all things considered. And we got another dead end with the chest. Okay, so we're going to need to get some keys. I am pleased with the way that this went, though. I mean, we still have so much ammo. Oh, why didn't I use my... Oh, all the comments. Use your active item. Why didn't you use your active item? Use your active item. You got a great point there. Why didn't I use my active item? I bought it and then just never touched it. Anytime we think we're gonna get hit, just pop that shit immediately. Like right there, for example. That's all right. This is not even close to a throw yet. This is still, like, exquisite. There's a key. We'll go back. I don't think the rats can open the chest. Oh, we could just go to this one instead. What is that? Ice cube. Items recharge while active. Apparently, this is some sort of puzzle room. We have to jump from minecart to minecart. How do we get to the minecart number next? Oh, I see. Okay. No, no. You know what? This is fine. The HP loss there does not bum me out. Got to jump from minecart to minecart. We can do this. And this one comes down here. Okay. Where does this one go? Up to there. I see. No, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, where does this one go? Over to this one, clearly. I don't know why I'm trying to do it at full speed. That seems like a foolish gamble here. Right. Check that shit out. Arcane gunpowder from the deep. Bullet component. Before the great bullet fell, the Gungeon's original master used this powder in his experiments. The bullet can still mine it from the depths awaiting the return of their master. I wonder if we bring this... I wonder if we bring this to... The, uh, the altars, what would happen? It seems like this item is maybe something we hold on to uh, for some special purpose, because it doesn't even look like I can use it right now. Yo. This is easily the most stacked loadout I've ever had, and I'm, I'm learning so much about the world around me. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries. Oh, God, sure would help a lot. That was really bad. Wouldn't it be nice to get away? Yeah. Hearts, please. Um, I, don't, I still don't think we're in a bad position, by the way. I don't think we're in a bad position at all. I would like to take a little less damage. Have lost a decent amount of it right here. There's a little bit coming back to us. I appreciate that. Keep in mind, there's almost always going to be a little bit of a um, little bit of a damage cost associated 
Jesus, these guys are annoying. Um, with, uh, with learning that new puzzle. I don't feel bad about that. It's just par for the course. What do you got for me, shopkeeper man? Armor, a nail gun, and keys and ammo. That's actually like a pretty nice haul. Mega Buster's gonna sound a little annoying as it's, I've got it charged up here. I really feel like we should really just be cramming ammo into this Mega Buster. Like, it's so good. I think the Guan Stone actually stopped one of those traps from trying to get close enough to hit us, which is pretty sweet. I'm at, still at, oh no, it's this thing right here, so don't break that. Um, I'm still at the point, I would say basically without a doubt, where I need to charge, not charge, uh, I need to get myself up to like maximum strength before the level 3 boss fight. I think it would be disastrous if I got cocky about it. So ammo's not that expensive. Keys ain't that expensive. We have zero right now. Um, I'm just coming back here to get into this extra room. We can always shoot these, but it's also possible the boss will give us some keys. And I also, I, I mean, I want to, we went to our shop. The shop didn't have the, uh, the arcane tomb around it, so. Yo, fuck this cannon, man. Oh my love, you know you are the cannon man and Okay, I definitely should have been hit there, so I don't feel bad about paying the tax. Genuine- oh my god, the Guan Stone. Genuinely the most annoying enemy in the fucking game. It's the goddamn turrets. Okay, where are we going? We're going back here. Now there is a big chest. This is not a big chest. This is not a big chest. Isn't there a big chest somewhere here? No, we must have opened that one already. So you know what? Let's open this one right here. Vertebrake 47. Nervous yet? I mean, that sounds pretty scary. I'm not going to say that it doesn't. You don't have HP. I don't think we need a nail gun. So I, I think we'll buy ammo for the Mega Hand. Just in case. Don't buy the key yet. I think we'll buy the armor. Might as well buy one blank for the boss fight. I don't know, maybe we should use the cannon against the boss, but if that fails, it's gonna be all M Buster all the fucking time. It is the, the fucking tank dreadnought. So, I've gotta admit, the vertebrake looks like it chews through ammo instantly, but may be awesome as well. Some of those bullets look like they may come back and hurt me. Or maybe those were just the enemy's bullets. Now it looks like one bullet in like every chain can come back and hit me. Or maybe after an enemy gets hit by a bullet it can come back. I gotta tell you, hot bullets are doing some real work right now. This gun is awesome. I'm assuming it can hit me because the bullets turn red. Red is like a shortcut for it's gonna kick your ass here. Don't lose it. In fact, just in general, we should probably never stop shooting. A little scary. Still scared. Still scared. Not marine sidearm. No, not marine. Oh, what? Oh my god, the fucking tank, dude. I still have to treat that run as a huge positive, but good lord, the tank. We had such good weapons. There's a mental block there. I appreciate your support. Lots of new stuff there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.